at Ukraine is how to get into the IRS now to seize people's money if their family didn't pay taxes as far back as 1960. Your daddy didn't pay some taxes or something? They're coming. That's CBS News. This government is totally illegitimate. No amount of taxes you pay will ever pay to fix the debt. They signed you on to derivatives that are impossible to pay back. I've been telling you that forever. We're being screwed. And as soon as the bureaucrats and the general public and the police and everybody figure that out, the better. This is a globalist, hardcore, criminal, cynical takeover of the most dishonorable, evil people. You like being honorable? You, you get off on that? They get off on being dishonorable. These people are scum. And what I'm saying is a historical fact. So the minute you realize that is the minute things start shifting back in the right direction. And hell, we're all evil. We all know we're bad. Nobody's perfect. But at least we don't like evil. We choose good. We're trying to be good. That's the difference. I appreciate all your prayers out there. Let's just rampage through calls. One minute each. Sheila in Texas, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hi, Alex. Glad to be on your program. And God bless you and your efforts in sending your crew. And I love David Knight's interview with the spineless sheriff who could have taken care of the situation if you'd spoken up earlier. Um, my heart did kind of stop when his live feed went dead. And Right as the right cops say, stop moving forward, we're going to shoot you, and the live feed goes out. Yeah, I was panicking. Yeah, praying, praying big time. Now, you know, it's easy for us to sit back here in the comfort of our home and think, oh, those poor people out in Nevada. But, Alex, what people don't realize is that they are becoming subject to the International Property Maintenance Code, which has the equal uh, intrusive right. When you look at that No, that's code, how police go in houses without warrants now and the smart meters. No, it's all the tyranny is under Agenda 21, the zoning. Well, what they're doing is that in our community, in Brady, they implemented and adopted the International Property Maintenance Code as part of the, quote, standard, just upgrading the International Fire Code, Electrical Code, Plumbing Code. What people don't understand is that the fire, plumbing, and electrical are invoked when you remodel or you have a new bill. No, I know. I know. Great point. I should do a whole sh show on that we have. This is the bureaucratic tyranny outside of law that's happening. All right, I'm going to go to uh, Rashid and others in a moment. Briefly, paying the bills here, we bring you the best products lower, at the very lowest prices. The ProPure water filtration systems cut out glyphosates, fluoride, all of it. Infowarsstore.com. Promo code WATER gets you 10% off the entire family. They've never done a special like this, so on their Traveler smaller stainless steel unit, you can get 25% off until Tuesday. 25% off on the ProPure Traveler at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is authorized by the manufacturer. Nobody else has this. This is the best gravity-fed filter, InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. When you buy books or T-shirts or films or any of the great products at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com, it funds our operation. You buy your war bonds, so thank you all for your support. Moving quickly, Rashid in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. What do you think of what's happening? Um, I watched the uh, Clive and Bundy standoff thing yesterday, and... It was it was crazy, but um. No, I mean they were like the feds. They're saying we're going to shoot you. And these people march into the guns. I mean it was like a movie, <laughs> and then and, and Fox and CNN won't even tell folks what happened. Yeah, and um, I don't know. Uh, I've just been feeling like really, I don't know, a sense of dread. I guess. Well, a lot of bad stuff's happening. Russia's starting to move into other areas of Ukraine, and it's just getting crazy. God bless you. Appreciate your call. Willis in Missouri, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Go ahead. Hey, brother. Hey, you are doing one heck of a job. We really appreciate it. Um, one thing I kept thinking was yesterday watching that live feed, uh, my wife and I were watching it and wanting to be out there in, in, in uh Boy, did you want to be out there? I was saying, man, I wish I'd have gone. But then I thought, I bet David did a better job than I would have. But go ahead. I don't know. I like David Knight, but I sure like your attitude, man. You know, I'm I'm at the point uh, two years ago when my wife and I got woken up uh, listening to your show one night on YouTube. I just was t totally blown away. We have we have a company of 20 employees, and we're getting the feel of of how the damn tyranny is tearing our country apart with the taxes. My God, we pay more in taxes than, in, than we do on our food that we eat personally. It's ridiculous.
ridiculous. But what I wanted to say was this. Watching Clive and Bundy, Bundy um, you know, with, with his attitude and him just sitting back was truly what uh, the Bible describes as a meek man, a very meek man. You know, I, I, would, I, would, I, was, I was so proud to see that myself, and it, it spoke to my heart in such a way that, that uh, just words cannot, cannot even fathom the, the feeling I felt. But, you know, well, you there, are, there are millions of Clive and Bundys out there, and that's what the enemy hasn't bargained for. They corner enough Americans, we're going we're gonna to defeat them. God, man, I'm gonna tell you, we had we practically had a party last night here that uh, uh, just in hoo ha, you know. With, That's what you're supposed to have a party about, not about absolutely. a football team winning, but about liberty winning. Absolutely. God bless you, brother. Great points. Let's go to uh, Om in Tennessee. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Hey, brother. Hey, it's, it's actually Tom. But all right, they said A H M. I'm sorry. Hey, Tom, yeah. go ahead. I, I got a tip for you, and, I'd, and then I'd like to comment about the uh, about the Clive and Bundy thing. If you go to uh, Uncle Sam's Misguided Children dot com, you find an article there about uh, the Red River there in northern Texas, southern Oklahoma, and it looks like the BLM's trying to seize, if I recall correctly, ninety thousand acres of I think it's no, no, that's right. Uh, under the under the uh, under the different tributary rules and orders, they're grabbing all the land around rivers everywhere. Yes. Yeah, anyway, it looks like they're actually trying to seize heated land there. Anyway, off the Clive and Bundy thing there. I, I hope the folks that uh, showed up down there are ready to go back to it after the election because, like you said, I believe it's largely because you and Floyd has run a story about it a couple of years ago. Now, here, your phone Tom. degraded, Tom. Thank you for the call. Sorry, we're moving quick. Bob in Michigan, go ahead. Uh, we were with you in spirit yesterday, let me tell you. It was a wonderful thing. Uh, just real quick comment. This is just the beginning. Uh, truth is coming after these people, and you only fight these wars with uh, the control of land and the control of money. That's why this is a war. You've made that abundantly clear. But just focus on those two things, because that's what they're doing to fight us. So I just want to do that, and, uh, you know, God bless you guys. You're awesome. No, you're awesome. Thank you, Bob. Uh, let's talk to Don in Michigan. Go ahead, Don. How you doing, Alex? All right, brother. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, I just want to make a shout-out to David Knight. Uh, that was awesome. I heard two things in his voice. I heard uh, when he was marching up, I heard tension, and I heard courage. And, and then that uh, stems from you, your whole program. Thank you for not wanting the limelight. And thank you for hiring such professionals. Because, thank you. Well, the uh, courage stems from God, but I agree with you. No, I mean, I, I, I wish I had a hundred such people. I mean, that's what it's all about. I have such a thrill finding great patriots to fight evil. I mean, that's how we're going to win. I'm trying to recruit people here. We need, we need millions and millions of men and women to fight this evil. I'm sorry to the other callers, uh, Mouse Link and Don and Sean and Keith. Incredible job, crew. We'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern, with the main weekday transmission hosted by David Knight, who's going to be in this seat tomorrow covering this historic event. That's all coming up. I'll be back Tuesday, of course, here, Lord willing. Please pray for us because the enemy is attacking us on every front. A lot of bad stuff's going on, but a lot of good stuff as well. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent 